Hi, I'm Nishwaran. Uh, here I'm going to talk about uh, FIR uh, filter. So this FIR filter is uh, stands for finite impulse uh, response. So what is FIR filter do? Uh, this FIR filter utilizes the most uh, recent uh, uh, two inputs uh, to produce a new input value. So it has an output signal that goes to in a limited uh, length of time. And this FIR filter also uh, consists only uh, zero and no poles. So in order to remove the unwanted uh, noise in the audio signal, what this FIR filter do is uh, adjusting the weight of the coefficient and the number of the uh, filter taps. So this to operate the FIR filter is does not require any uh, feedback and the output of the FIR filter uh, with the end coefficient is always zero after it's inserting the uh, end sample of the uh, impulse response. So this is how it uh, works and filter out the unwanted noise from the uh, audio signal. Then it produce a good uh, audio signal without any uh, unwanted noise. So that's all for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Arvin and today I'm going to be explaining about IIR filters. IIR filters are one of the two primary types of digital filters used in digital signal processing applications. IIR generally means infinite impulse response. Therefore, the impulse response is infinite in length. The infinite impulse response filter is known to be a recursive filter. This basically means that the output from the filter is computed using the current and previous inputs and previous outputs. Generally, the impulse response is infinite because there is a feedback in the filter if you put in an impulse, an infinite number of non-zero values will come out. Because the filter uses previous values of the output, there's feedback of the output in this filter structure. Practical IIR filters use analog filters to get a specific transformation known as the bilineal transformation, which transfers Z-plane poles and zeros of the analog filter onto the S-plane. One of the biggest advantage of the IR, IIR R filters is that the advantage of the IIR filters over the FIR is that for the same filter complexity, the magnitude response of an IIR filter can be significantly better than of an FIR. So basically that's from me and this is what I can say about IIR filters. So thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Narsia Yusra bin Timasansuddin. So what is fast Fourier transform or FFT? So DFT plays an important role in analysis, design and implementation of discrete time signal processing algorithm and system. One major problem with DFT is it extremely has high computational requirement. So it is so important to have one efficient algorithm to compute DFT. So there's numbers of algorithms that have been developed for that purposes and they are collectively known as fast Fourier transform or FFT algorithms. The efficiency of FFT is so high that in many cases, the most efficient way of implementing covolution is by the transforming the sequences involved, multiplying the transform results and inverse transforming the product back to the time domain. So FFT algorithms are based on the fundamental principle of decomposing the computational of DFT of the length or N sequence into successively smaller DFT. So that's all for FFT. Thank you. Hi, my name is Noafika Handi Bentisinin and we are doing audio zero. Hi, so I'm going to explain about the coding. Okay, now we are choosing audio zero. So we want to load the audio zero. You can hear. Okay, now the duration of the audio is 8 seconds. Okay, after we load, we can see the MATLAB given us the data of the audio, which is the sampling frequency is 11,000, uh, 11 k kilohertz, and the data is 97,000 something. Okay, actually, this is the data for the spectrogram data. Okay, I will uh, explain about the coding first before we are looking at for the added signal. Okay, this is the length, which is the 
data and uh, this is the sampling time which is the general equation in 1 over f and this is the time okay uh, because of the time just now is l over fs so we can get it uh, equal to 8.8 something okay now we plot uh, the time domain and the frequency domain okay for the frequency domain we are using fft so if you want to know if fft is uh, decompose a signal into discrete spectral components and offer frequency information about the signal as a result we will see later okay uh, now we are using the butterworth filter to eliminate the noise okay we are using seven or uh, for the order okay this is the coding for the butterworth filter coefficient this is the uh, butterworth filter coefficient and we are using 2000 over the fs and low high uh, low pass filter okay now uh, after we load this one we can get the filter sound okay after that uh, we have the filter audio in time domain which is uh, the filter one okay and then we get the uh, get the data uh, for the frequency domain uh, okay now we have this one uh, as you as I said frequency domain we need to use FFT which is fast filter transform okay after that we are using the spectrogram to see uh, to analyze the spectrum of the signal okay I will run it Mm, we run the data now until the spe spectrogram. Okay, we can see, we can get the signal, and we can see how the uh, signal is the un unwanted noise is eliminated. Okay, I will uh, give you, I will uh, give you the sound. I will let you hear the sound. Uh, for the filter sound letter okay this is the spectrogram okay the matlab is slow a bit because the matlab is have a big uh, size actually okay then now we want to see the signal okay as i said at the time i said is l over fs so we get 8.8 uh, for something for the time domain Okay, uh, now we see the frequency domain. Okay, first, uh, why it gets uh, 5.5 kilohertz? Because of just now, the sampling uh, frequency is 11k. So, it's divided by 2, it gets 5.5 kilohertz. Okay, this is the unwanted noise. So, using the butterworth filter, we get the uh, audio without the noise anymore. Okay, why we are choosing the butterworth filter? Because of uh, because only butterworth filter as he beats smooth frequency characteristic characteristic in both the pass band and the stop band. Okay. Now we want to see the spectrogram. Okay. <coughs> what I can what I said just now spectrogram is used to analyze the spectrum of the signal. So the, in the spectrogram we can analyze the frequency and time content. Okay. Uh, the blue color value shows the higher power frequency uh, present for a particular frequency and uh, lower frequency we can see it is around here at the orange color 0 to 0 0.1 kilohertz for, spectro, uh, for spectrogram original and filter sound then okay as i said just now because of the sampling rate is uh, 11 kilohertz so we can get 5.5 kilohertz in total okay the spectrogram here shows in time and frequency domain for filter sound mostly the color blue here where high frequency takes control to eliminate the noise that's the spectrogram okay uh, i think okay yeah uh, the this is the sound for the filtered one As you can hear, there is no more noise and uh, good to listen. Thank you.